Hello guys. I just kind of wanted to talk about mid-season championships and like just brawl in general. Uh, yeah, I did. I did buy that emote. So we're gonna hop into some experimental here because uh, rank user is way too long at this time. And being 20, uh, and I hit 2300. That's like my new PG Yeah. Three, two, one, like that. That shit made me like so happy. Like I did fight like a lot of like. It was like at this time. Like it's like what 3:30 in the morning. And like it was like a lot of 1900s. So I was only getting like like seven like less there's games where I didn't even gain five yellow bro like like that's how horrendous it was like if I lose I was gonna lose like 27 yellow but like if I win uh like I only get like four or five it's literally the the boomy struggle that's what my me and our friend called it because I remember like uh, just watching boomy back in there be like 2700 and sometimes you like only get like two elo. So you, dude, I've seen him play games where he got zero elo. Like, that is so dumb. Then like, if you're gonna give him no elo, and give him such a high risk for like not even one elo, you know there's like some problems with the game. So like, I don't know, like the like the whole rank system to me in brawl is just so bad. Like, there should be a rank above diamond, or a rank between diamond and plat. But I don't think so there, there, there's necessarily a rank required between diamond and plat. They should just do what Valorant did, call like, the best rank at like 2500 maybe. Call it like Brawlhalla, like how Valorant used to call it uh, Valorant. But like, uh, what do you call it, I fucked up pretty bad. Like, they should, they should honestly just call it like something really cool, like... Like, you, you obviously can't call it Radiant. You can call it Valhalla. Like, imagine saying I've reached Valhalla. That's so cool. They should honestly create a new rank. Where, like, if you go to the leaderboards, you'll see there's, like, a thousand people that, like, once they hit Diamond, they, they, don't, they don't play it for the rest of the season. Now, obviously, like, you know, I'm a very competitive guy. I want to keep playing. Like, I have, like, thousand plus games this season it's not even funny like I think this season I played the most amount of games and and I think one reason for that is because like one my my sleep schedule is just so fucked ever since uh my high school ended and so I'm like playing like during the day when I have free time so like during the day I'm playing like one or two hours then at night like I'll be playing one or two hours even more and like the like I had a, I had an A levels, I had my A levels exam in on May second, and like uh, I told my parents that I'll be like studying at night, which I was, but like, I promised I'll do like the three papers, so like that that I'm, that like, three papers would take me a four hour, thirty minutes, and I'll like like well, and I only start the studies when they go to sleep, so at like twelve a.m. when like my parents would go to bed, like when like the whole house goes to sleep, that's when I start. So like during break. They knew I was like the 30 minute break, so whatever, I'll take 30 minutes, they tell lol, like the 30 minutes breaks I was gonna take, uh, were like, just gonna be, you know, me watching a show or something, I'm not gonna play a game for like, I'm not gonna be on the PC for like more than one hour, right, cause like, they're gonna wake up at like, uh, 5.30, because uh, it was Ramadan, so like, they're gonna wake up at 5.30, for like our breakfast before we start our class. Why can't I? Bro, what are these sounds? Dude, also these sounds, bro. I haven't even talked about, like, this sound that they... It's so bad. But yeah, uh... Sheesh. Anyways, like, the... Like, the rank is, like, so, like, during that... I was like grinding so hard, I hit 2100, I think that was like my second ever time hitting 2100, like, ever. Uh, I didn't play for two seasons, like, until this season. 
like ever since I got my PC, I was like kind of out of brawl. Like, I didn't really feel like playing brawl because like you know I was like so focused like oh I'm gonna play other games like Apex and Vara and then like just GTA you know like all of these games and then I just don't really play Apex anymore. I I, I barely even touch GTA. I think I have like 10 hours on GTA. It's like actually funny, like. The game was like super expensive. I didn't even buy. I didn't even wait for a discount. I bought it on full price. Well, I didn't buy it, but like I was gonna buy my own money and then like uh, my sister's husband, like because you know as a nice gesture, he's uh, he also games a lot. So he said like, oh, you don't have GTA, you should play with me. And I was like, oh, I don't have it. Yet. I'm gonna buy it like later. And so like he just like, no, 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 I can buy it for you right now. So he bought me like full price, and I barely touched GTA. It's kind of funny. But, so yeah, like those nights, like I was just playing ranked so much and I noticed I improved a lot because at night, like there's a lot of like, I even joined Azure Spirit, like I like I said in the last video with Manin, like I'm better than Manin now, like one of the reasons like Manin is like always lagging and like it was, it was finally time that, that I overtook him, like, like, the, like even though he's been lagging since day one, like he's like he started after me and like when he's when when I, when he started i was gold and then he managed to hit plat before i hit plat he still has more hours than oh my god it's a demon he still has more hours than me on the game but you know he hit diamond within one year of playing it took me like uh, i think like one year seven months or some somewhere around that i finally hit diamond so like i might actually lose here doesn't matter, I'm not playing lands, that's my excuse. Like, he just, I, I think, like, his his fundamentals are still better, but because he's not, like, he's just, he hasn't been, like, putting an effort into the game anymore, and, like, uh, you know, and he's just lagging constantly, so, like, he just, he just can't play at his 100%, because if he's, like, lagging, like, half the time, the other half when he's not lagging because he's not used to like the game running smoothly like it's just, it's just very difficult for him to like actually keep improving like because of the inconsistency of his brawler performance which is pretty sad because honestly i think i think he could honestly like if he wasn't lagging from the start he would be like top 8 seed that that is that is my actual opinion that's how good he is at the game, that's how good his fundamentals are, he's good at reading, like, like, he's actually just really good, it's just the, the lag, it's, it's very difficult for him, and plus, you know, we're in college now, so, like, he has other stuff to focus on, which is understandable, you know, like, because if, if you're gonna lag, and you know you're not, like, planning to go pro, there's no point in like grinding a game that like you're you're already diamond. Like if you're not planning on going pro, there's actually no point. And it's like oh yeah, I want to hit 2100 or 2200. Like there there is point to that. That's what I'm doing. Like I'm not. I know I I probably won't be ever good enough to actually go pro in this game. Like consistently at least. Maybe I'll have like one lucky tourney. I still compete in tourneys. But then again, like they're never my like priority. Like, oh yeah, I'm sacrificing, uh, like studies or whatever. Oh, I forgot about these ball slips. Fuck. Well, I'm never like sacrificing studies or like, you know, like being like, oh yeah, let me just sacrifice these plans that I have to, uh, like, part like train for tournaments. I'm not actually like learning any new weapons. I'm just playing like, like I'm improving slowly. Like, you know, so I, I did slowly get, like, not slowly, but I had, like, a dramatic increase of how good I am. Because, I don't know, I just, I just improved. Like, it was just, like, out of the blue, where I improved just a lot. And, like, I got 2300. I, like, I compete with, like, semi-pros. I, I think, yeah, at this point, I, I would call myself a semi-pro. Like, I'm 2300, like... Like, that's, that's the standard in C to be semi-pro. Like, uh... Like, if you're, if you're, like, 2200 plus, you, you, you probably, like, seen me now at this point. Like, I'm, 
I'm in a competitive clan. I play. I, I legit have played with the current rank one, like in the rank. Like he's not PR number one, but he's in my friends list. Uh, I'm in the same clan as the guy that just won the last tournament, like the major tournament, and I play with him as well. Like, so I I am getting around, but like the thing is again, I need to like learn a different weapon than Lance if I want to get good at this game. Because Lance is just not cutting it. Like, I'm not caustic. Like, I, I don't think so I can just get far without Lance. And I don't even plan on, like, I'm committed. Like, unless they really, like, I'm committed to Orion. Like, I've been committed to Orion since, like, basically day one. I got the gold with Orion. I got the plow with Orion. They got to die. No, no, I got to plow with Ogre. And then Diamond, I got with Orion, and then the next season I got Diamond with Ogrim because I wanted to, you know, like not play Orion, see if I could get Diamond with Axe. I mean, it was still Lance, but oh my god, he just got three stock. That's a minute and a half game. See, this is what I mean. <laughs> like, I can only play Lance. I'm like subconsciously just doing all this stuff. But yeah, like, I think if I was in NA, like, I wouldn't even be considered a sum. I wouldn't even be, like, good. In NA standards, or oh, I know this guy. I fought him in rank today, I think. I don't know, I don't remember who won. But. Back to like the rank systems. Like, dude, rank really needs an improvement. Like, first of all, like, oh my god, that would have been nasty if I got that read. He's just gonna want an army? I can't, I can't play Scythe. I think like Scythe and Great Sword, like the two are like absolutely. I don't think. So. Okay, I, I think I get flat with Scythe. Like only Scythe. As I say that, I it was not even a clip. It got lucky kind of. But like, like my Scythe is actually like the the worst weapon. I'm trying to like do stuff aside, but honestly, like the rank, like the incentive to play rank is actually so bad in this game. Like the game legit is like prioritizing uh, like uh, casual play over like like actual rank, like. They're, and even like the balance patches, yeah, like, they're not even listening to what the pros have to say, like, yes, they're finally implementing some weapon, weapon spawn changes, which has been a complaint for like, since the day I started this game, like not, like, it wasn't a complaint back then, because back then there were other issues, but after they fixed that, like, like, it was honestly just really bad. Like, they, they, they basically just released, like, the new animations for, like, the, when, like, the, the sweaty marks, the, when you take away the, your opponent's recovery, like, those animations. I think the community is pretty happy with that, because it's adding, like, more effects to Brawlhalla. It made the game more visually pleasing. They made the iceberg on the GC. If you're wondering what was that Sila, I was trying to show the iceberg. Like, they did, they did add a lot of cool shit since I started playing. Uh, but... It's honestly, like... Like, the main complaint... About rank, like, the queue time... And, like, what you can do in queue... Oh, don't even get me started on those fucking bots... In the queue. It's, like, actually, like, why are we playing against medium bots? I get if they made the bots... To, like, why aren't we able to customize the bot difficulty, like... First of all, it should just be a training room. If, and you can like customize that training room to your standards. Like, do you want to like hop in and practice combos? Do you want to like set it to a chosen, like a 1v1 with a chosen bot in like a tournament 1v1 map? But like, what do you want to do, right? And honestly, like, I don't understand why that's like not an option. It is actually like so dumb that like the queue, look at these bots. The queue is with medium bots. Like, 
it's a free for all on a non tournament one v one map when I'm queuing for ranked ones and my queue time, like especially at midnight, it can't. There has been times where I queued for like 20 minutes and there was no game. Until that, I was like, you know, fuck this. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep. Like that's how bad some queue times are. Like it made me bored. Like half the time now when I'm queuing, I'm actually just watching YouTube. Luckily, they have like that sound cue to let you know you, you like found the game. Like, dude, also, I want to talk about the new rank, right? Like, what, like I don't understand, like, how they haven't added a new rank uh, to the game in, like, forever. Like, first of all, you start off in bronze, which I just don't get. What's the point of having iron and tin if you can't, if you're going to start off in bronze? Like, that's one thing I don't get. What's the point of ha like, it's not like Baron, right, where you like, your rank is locked and you create a new account, and then after that, uh, what do you call it, you kind of just, like, the game decides after, like, uh, you're looking at your game, like, which rank you deserve, what rank you play with, how well your performance is. It's not like Baron, okay? So I would get, like, if someone, you know, did good enough to be placed in bronze straight away, but it's no matter who you are, you can just log into the game, skip the tutorials, and hop into a rank. Which cause like smurfs to like, which incentivizes smurf. With Valorant, yeah, they are smurf because, but recently they changed it. It wasn't like you have to play like 10 unrated. It literally just became reach level 20. And like, reaching level 20 is like more than 10 unrated. So. Like, they, they, they are, like, trying to reduce smurfs as possible, where, like, if you want to smurf, you really have to go for it. But, in Brawl, I just create an account, and I can smurf. Like, I don't, I don't get that. Like, this it's just so dumb. Like, where is the new rank? Valorant has been out for less, like, a quarter of how, like, Brawl is going to reach, what, 8 years, I think? No, not 8 years, I think 8 years too much. Brawl came out in 2015, it's gonna reach 7 years, alright, in this December, it's gonna reach 7 years. Varman, which has only been out for 2 years, alright, has announced that they're adding a new rank between Diamond and Immortal. Which is like, how is Varman, a game that came out 5 years after Brawl, alright, Adding a new rank before Brawl. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> like. But anyways, like. Like. This, this, and like. Like the crossovers. Yeah, sure, they're cool. But, you know. They're, some are game breaking. But like, I don't, I don't really mind that. Because. Right now, I don't think so. I ever went like, yeah, bro. If he wasn't using the crossover, I would have won. Like, that hasn't happened to me yet, so that's not, like, one complaint I have. But the sounds, oh my god. They added a new fix for it until July 13th. I mean, June 13th. Until MSI was over, and now we're back to the old sound. So it's like, why is this, why is this guy playing, like, Meg D? Oh yeah, don't even get me started on how Brawl are legit. You must play passive if you want to, especially in tourneys. Tourneys are so boring now. But anyways, this guy is a good transition for me to switch to MSI. So, you know, MSI was really good. The, the, the matches are definitely fun. We finally got to see other regions going up against each other. And unexpected people place at the top. Like, none of y'all can say you all thought experience and main was going to win. Everyone's bet was either on Boomy Snowy, Luna, Luna Pugsy. Or like, actually I'm gonna kill myself. No, don't kill yourself, yeah. Uh, Looney, uh, Looney, what the fuck am I saying, Looney Tunes? Uh, Boomy Snowy, Luna Pugsy, or like, one of the EU teams, okay? And like, everyone's bet wasn't that. No one thought Experience and Maid was gonna win, bro. But props to them, and Wesley and Fiend, they popped off. This guy is 
probably just lagging really hard. I feel bad for him. What mission do I have? Gravity cancel, friendly to this game, board or kill. Or I'll just play horror. Uh, but, like, no one thought, dude, Boomy and Snowy got eliminated by Koi Charis and Faison. Yeah, you, yeah, I, I think, like, my money for top 3 was, I thought Boomy and Snowy were gonna win, because they just won Spring Champs, like, a month ago. And then they came, I think, 5th, 4th, by losing to Koi Charis and Faison. And then Wesley and Fiend came 2nd. No one expected... Props to South America, dude. Like, we all underestimated them because it's always just been... EU is better. But, like... It's... it's I honestly feel like... SA is better than EU. But to be fair, we didn't have people like Gali, Pavelski, you know. Which... Which, which is kind of sad. For EU. That, that they had their visa issues. And as a Pakistani, trust me, I know how hard it is to get visa. But I, I didn't think so, like, European countries would have, like, visa issues. But, you know, it, it is it is what it is. Uh, I'm also sad Stingray couldn't come. I really wanted to see, see like, uh, what do you call it? I'm also sad we didn't get to see a Luna vs. Sandstorm match. The set between Sansa and Boomy was, like, honestly my favorite set from the whole tourney. Or the, the, the Luna versus, oh fuck, which, yeah, Luna versus Boomy was also really fun to watch. Luna, like, popped off the last game. It was a best of five, like, it was a game five situation. And, like, Luna just, just, like, immediately, like, just popped off. Like, it, it was honestly really fun to see. Like, I honestly thought Luna was gonna win. Actually, no, my money was on Sandstorm. But realistically, I was like, yeah, Luna, Luna probably will take this because Godly isn't there. Sandstorm just hasn't been training competitively. But Sandstorm plays seventh, and this is the lowest Sandstorm has placed in a in a land, not online tournaments. And San no Sandstorm plays fifth or seventh, it's one of the other, one of the two. And like this is the lowest Sandstorm has ever placed on land. Like Sandstorm has never played a land where he did not place top eight in ones. Like, just, just let that sink in. He's put at, like, how many lands? Like, 20 lands at this point, I think. And he has always gotten top 8. And he's won most of them. Like, the only lands he's lost is, like, Shine. Uh, not low tier. He won low tier. Shine and Rotterdam. That's the only two lands I could think of at the top of my head. He lost to Shine against Wrench. And then he lost to he lost in Rotterdam against Boomy. Boomy's Isaiah, and then he won PCX next month. So you know, even those losses like Sansom lost at Shine, and then he proceeded to come and win CEO like literally the next land. Oh my God, this guy DC, he got DC as well. Uh, did I get the chaos? No, that doesn't count. Law. So like Sansom has like. Won most of his one's land. And like it's honestly like amazing. Like even his most of his online tourneys is won. Like he hasn't won any winter champs. And like I'm trying to think of online tourneys he's lost. Like it's it's really hard. But Sansom has always placed top eight at a land. In twos he kinda just got like really fucked. Like he didn't win a single game. There was no pool in twos, it was just straight away like top because like the lack of players. But, uh, I really want a Sansom to win. Like, he is the land king. Like, there is no denying that. But Luna, bro, Luna's actually, like, popping off. Like, at first, you know, everyone was like, oh, he plays Terros, he's bad. Like, he can't win without Terros. But then, like, he's been showing, like, he won the last tourney with Zero. Or, like, Mordex. Like, no, no, he won Springs in Grand Finals with Zero. Who the fuck can say they won with Jiro, bro? Jiro is literally the worst site legend. Uh, Artemis, yeah. No, Jiro, Jiro is actually the worst site legend. Jiro is also the worst sword legend. And Luna won. And then Luna didn't play Scythe, Sword. He just decided to play Orb. He decided to play Thor. And he won. Like, Luna is actually, like, insane. Like, he is actually, like, 
showing that that's like he is actually a god and he doesn't need like axe or taros to win you know and it's honestly amazing and for twos wes and fiend oh my god like their sets were really fun to watch uh the set between fuck which one was it they're like Boomy and Snowy barely won, I don't even remember, but like, uh, but, like, Boomy and Snowy are also really good, like, Boomy is team comboing, comboing and everything, it's, like, Boomy's follow-ups are actually insane to watch, I think Boomy's actually the best two's player, but, sorry, I was drinking water, okay, now I can attack, like, I think Boomy did underperform this tourney. Like, he lost to Luna, which won. But Machete, dude, how the fuck? Dude, no, dude, Machete, dude, the last person I thought from NA would be with Free Sandstorm, I had no idea it would be Megdi. Megdi placed second. And, after, and like, he wasn't even playing passive anymore. Which is like, kind of funny because, like, you know, the whole community memes on Megdi for playing passive. And, and I told my friend, like, yo, what if, like, the reason he plays passive is because he's lagging and on land, because there's, you're playing on zero ping, like, then, uh, he's, he doesn't have to play passive, he can play, like, how he wants to play. And even reset the bracket against Snowy, but Snowy obviously took the game. Usually, when, like, a bracket reset happens, like, the person that reset the bracket wins. Like, it's very rare to see them not win. Oh fuck, I'm about to die. Wait, let me pop it up real quick. Yeah, he's dead. Dude, Reyna is actually super good. But yeah, MSI, MSI is really fun. I watched like literally the whole thing. It was honestly insane. Uh, watching like some of my favorite players come back and just watching a land like it just felt super fresh I wasn't there and like seeing all the Twitter like tweets like usually in, online like people just stop like don't tweet that much but with land everyone was like tweeting take like posting pictures mid like mid mid sets it's, it was honestly funny but like not funny like, it was honestly just amazing like and I can't wait for BCX like like BCX is gonna be insane and I really want to see like a, like a, like, I really want to see like the best top 8 ever for BCX. I want to see like Pavelski, Luna, Godly, Sandstorm, Boomy. That would be an insane top 8. Think about it. Is that, is that 8 people? Okay, wait, Godly 1, Luna 2, Pavelski 3, Sandstorm 4, Boomy 5, Cody Travis. Uh, Fiend. That's like that's, that's like seven, but like, like this is like a nasty top eight that like you just don't know who's gonna come out on top when they fight. Like there were still some matches that I'm disappointed I didn't get to see in MSI. Uh, like I really wanted to see uh, Caustic. Uh, no, I wanted to see Zyder versus Stingray, and Stingray couldn't make it, which is pretty sad. Like I wanted to see the Orion Mirror match. Uh, what other matches? I wanted to see the Sandstorm vs. Godly, like, Mordex, uh, Mirror Match, that would have been pretty insane. Uh, what else? We did get to see Caustic vs. Vesley and Caustic won, because, you know, he just, he actually just proved to the world that he is actually the better, better Lance players. And I've never actually spoken to Caustic, like, he's one of, like, the actual pros that I've actually physically, like, voice called with. Like... He even like help review one of my games I remember. Yeah. I remember he's like uh I remember we were supposed to play Among Us and I was in a brawl game, I said give me a sec and he's like wait I wanna spectate you, my brawl's running as well. And I told him like the room number and like he joined and like he saw my rank game and like he guided me, I was like losing. He's like, Oh do this dodge read and like I won. It's pretty lit. And then uh yeah. Uh yeah, that's that's pretty much like the pros I've talked to. Uh, I've spoken to like Robs, but like he's a C pro and like he doesn't play Stabba anymore. Uh, who else? 
but MSI was great. And honestly, like BCX, I really want to see Sandstorm win. But at the same time, no, but like Cody Travis won last year, yeah. So, you know, it's time for, you know, Sandstorm took his break, you know. He retired after winters. He didn't win MSI. It's, it's time for the king to return. You know? And Sansom is not going to be playing in summers because Santi announced that he needs a teammate. So, which is pretty sad. So he's not going to be playing the online tournament. I thought he's just going to come back and play the online as well. But, like, honestly, I think he should at least play once if he's planning on going to BCX. And also, Multiverse is coming out. How long is this? Recording. Holy shit, 30 minutes. Uh, I'll try to end it soon. Multiverse is coming out, and like I think Sansom is gonna make a full switch to that. Cause I, and I just wanna see Sansom win like Multiverse is like World Championships as well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like the biggest uh, Sansom fan. I feel like almost everyone has like a, you know, like they're, they're a Sansom fan. But honestly, like. You know what would make me more happy than Sansom winning BCX this year? Kozilex winning BCX this year. You know how insane that would be? Dude, if if Brawl decides to release, uh, what do you call it? No, not release, what the fuck am I saying? But yeah, yeah. I think before BCX, there's gonna be one more legend. Like, we are due. Uh, like, I think in. I think by, hmm, how would I, uh, what month is June, so I think by August we'll get a new legend, I think right after summer champs, we're gonna get a new legend, and then there's gonna be autumn champs, and like, I think he's gonna be eligible for that tournament, and I think that this new legend is going to either be Lance Orb, or Lance Cannon, or, or maybe it might be like a great sword legend. Or like a new orb variation, but I, I we really need this next legend to be Lance. Like if you count the legend, like Lance is like the longest uh, weighted, uh, what do you call it, like uh, legend release. So we need a new Lance legend. Like let's count right now, okay? Before Vector, the last legend was Artemis. So that's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 legends after. And now it's after after that we've had Scythe Axe, Cannon, Gauntlets, Greatsword, Sword, Katara's Greatsword, Hammer, Greatsword, Blaster's Orbs after you know, Isaiah, Scythe, Bow, Greatsword, Spear. Before, yeah, it's a Dusk. So it's, it's every single weapon has gotten of like without another weapon you know we've we've gotten every single weapon if we have we've had hammer what weapon are they? we've had hammer we've had sword we've had blasters we've had spear we've had blasters we've had katars we've had uh axe volcar yeah volcar is right after so i think it's time they release a lance legend and i really 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 want the next legend to either be lance orb lance cannon I don't want a Lance Qatar, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think Lance Qatar would just be really bad. Yeah, Lance, Lance Orb. Dude, Lance Orb would be an amazing... And, dude, if they make Sidelight Recovery true, I'm, I'm actually gonna, like, get... I'm actually gonna win a tourney. I'm not even joking. I'm charitable. Look at all these titles my clanmates have. Anyways. Yeah, so... I'm gonna hop, play one last experiment though, and then I'll, I'll bounce to Azoth. But MSI was fun, yeah. Brawler needs a new rank. The new sounds are horrendous. Oh, it's Shroomish. Shit. Alright, this is just gonna be like no, no, like outside top. It's, I'm only gonna focus on this game. It's experimental, he's gonna let me get the weapon. I struggle to beat this guy with Lance. Alright. It's good practice.
Mine does that a lot every time I go for a recovery and he has hammer. He'll like try to do a down there. I'm alive. Yep. Oh nah, that's such a disrespectful. It's such a disrespectful way to die. Bro, he's just fucking throwing stuff at me. Weapon throw nerf. They nerfed it a bit. But it's just not enough. Damn, how is it even? I don't think so he's like thing that serious because he's just throwing gadgets and stuff at me. Custom lobby. Hopefully, he joins. Yeah, after this I'll start recording, I'll probably keep sparring this guy. You know, I can beat him guys, I trust, trust. Yeah, I'm just still taking forever. Yeah, let me just close this. All the unnecessary shit. Yeah, it's basically gone. Need OPS. Just whiffed like 50 moves. I just realized that Pride has mutual side on. Oh, he's dead. 
me just turn it off real quick. Apply. Yeah. I told you guys I can beat this guy. He's just... I need lands. I'm thinking of next season, I'll start a series. I'm gonna like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna buy like the, uh, the legend pack, like the all legend pack, and I'm gonna like try to get diamond with random on my smurf. Wait, no way, I, I thought I died, I thought I was dead. Yeah, then I got this. GG, yeah. Anyways, guys, goodbye. Yeah, I hope, thank you guys for watching this 41 minute recording.